My name is Fiona Hamilton. I'm the uh, Vice President, Regional Head of Europe and Asia for uh, Volante Technologies. And I'm also the Global Head of all of our uh, business outside of the payments domain, so covering capital markets, trade finance, foreign exchange, money market. I would say in capital markets, uh, it's somewhat similar to all of the other domains. Uh, I think there's three. I think there is cost reduction, especially in capital markets, because for the last 10 years since the financial last financial crisis, the markets have been fairly flat. You know, if you look at the FTSE, it just hovers around 6,700, 6,800. So the margins are getting squeezed. So therefore, people are looking at the costs, and part of the costs are people, but there's also more efficiency in terms of how automated and straight through their processes are. I think people then are also uh, facing a lot of regulatory change, again driven largely by the financial crisis in 2008, um, and the realisation that actually that's not going to end. I think people started saying, okay, there'll be a bit of regulation which comes out of it, and then we're done. But what's been shown is it just keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. So, uh, you know, they had Mifid, Dodd Frank, Volcker Act, etc. Now they've got Mifid 2. So, huge challenges in regulatory reporting, transaction reporting. And the third one is technology. So, the technology landscape over the last few years has changed, and people are facing the challenges of either having to be seen to adopt or at least try out new technologies like uh, blockchain and distributed ledgers, joining consortiums, etc. Lots of fintech starting up in that area. And how do they connect their, if you like, way of doing business with those uh, technology paradigms? I think reg tech is you know, it's an interesting term. It's a bit like fintech. So I wish somebody could describe to me what the definition of fintech is, a fintech. I've been working in this industry of what I would have called financial technology for 31 years. Um, so what's a fintech and what's a software supplier? You know, are, are banks fintechs now, some of the challenger banks, etc. So I think from a financial technology perspective, I think regulation technology or reg tech is really just about what are the agile technologies that can help organizations, whether buy side, sell side, custody in the capital markets industry, adapt and adopt the changes which are being driven by all of those things, the technology, the regulation, etc. So from our perspective in Volante, um, it's very much a challenge about having all of the data in one place and being able to transform the data into a consumable, whether that's via uh, you know, reporting mechanisms, whether it's reporting directly to central banks or the SEC. It's effectively a transformation process because at the end of the day, the bond or the fixed income instrument hasn't changed. You just need to report more information on it. Now, there are a few exceptions to that, uh, such as being able to go out and get more information from, for example, maybe human resources uh, systems because you need to be able to uniquely identify who traded that trade by a unique identifier. So it's much more of an integration challenge. Our view is that once you have access to the information related to trade and the environment in which that trade happened, <coughs> being able to then communicate that information, whether it's to a settlement system or a counterparty or to a regulator, is all part of the same process. And by adding more endpoints, it could be more or different regulators, or if you go into a different market, having to re report to a different regulator, 
you shouldn't have to rip and replace your back-end systems because you're still just doing a trade so therefore as long as you can persist that information you can enrich that information and you can transform it into whatever the format or the technology so something might have to be delivered as a message but something else might have to be delivered via an API it's as far as Volante are concerned the same thing so what we're providing to our customers is an insulation layer so that their processing systems don't have to be as agile and change apart from changing their functionality we will handle how that information is communicated to the external world.